Hello, uh, my name is Jesse Ralph. I'm 18 and I've just graduated from McNally High School. And I'm going to tell you about my story today. I consider myself an active person with a competitive personality. I've played multiple sports from football to wrestling to handball and I just finished playing rugby. I've wrestled since grade 7 and I still love it. But my favorite sport by far is, by far is football. I love everything about it, the intensity, the competitiveness, and the physicality. I've only started to play since grade 10, but immediately knew the sport was for me. Since then, I've played club football for the Engine Chargers, as well as for my high school team, the McNally Tigers. I've now played five seasons as a linebacker, and I believe I'm very good. Good enough to play at the next level. Uh, this year, I, I'm trying out for a team called the Edmonton Wildcats, their junior football team. Uh, besides sports, my interests mostly revolve around training and history. For training, I'm always trying to, uh, you know, improve myself and prove people wrong and believe I don't have what it takes to go to the next level. For history, uh, I'm a very curious person. Uh, everything interests me, but uh, mainly like the past, so what's happened to the world, uh, whether it's paleontology or the causes and effects of world wars. Uh, I have no idea what lies ahead for me in life yet or what, uh, what I'd like to do. I'd like to go to university uh, this year, but I have no idea what I'd like to study yet. I live in a small house in an amazing neighborhood, not far from McNally, right across the street from the elementary school I went to. I live with my mom and my three younger brothers and my little sister. Jacob, who is currently in grade 10, and is just uh, finished grade 10 actually. Ruben, who is just finished grade 7, and Simon, who is just finished grade 5. My little sister, who is about to go in, uh, uh, into kindergarten. Jacob hangs out with his young life leader all the time, and I'm excited that Ruben has, has just came home from Rockridge Canyon. I'm really excited that my brothers and hopefully my whole family will get involved in life because it's such a great organi organization. I've been involved in the Young Life for so many years now that my early earliest memories with it all seem to blend together. One of my fondest memories though of Young Life is couch to I remember having no idea what to expect as it was one of my first clubs. Jordan, who was my wrestling coach at the time and also the head of Young Life in uh, my area, brought me. I remember being surprised by how friendly and welcoming all the leaders were. It was so fun to bonding down this huge hill with all my friends with, with a couch with skis underneath it or a chair or a small chair or even a massive mattress. From that club on, I've loved young life and everything it stood for. Um, I've grown up with a very loving mother who gives more than any person I know. She's racist as Christians, but I've never gone to church before I went to young life. My young life leaders help me to continue, continue and learn more about Christianity. And, uh, and the more I learn, the more I want a relationship with Christ, and now I have one. Something that I really stood out to me is how caring and kind all the leaders are. They all make you feel part of the group. <clears throat> and as someone who's never been the most popular kid, this was a great feeling. Uh, in high school, we have club every two weeks where we all get together at someone's house and sing and dance and talk about God. Uh, it's so easy to uh, hang out with your own leaders because they're either your friends as well as your leaders. Everyone has unique relationships with each leader. One unique relationship is with uh, one of my Young Life leaders, Brandon. He would pick me up every day uh, and we'd go to his house and watch football for a good part of the day. Another amazing thing about Young Life is summer camp uh, at Rockridge Canyon. In the camp promo video, they always say it's the best week of your life and it's, it's true. It's, it's truly great. My first camp was incredible. All the new experiences and people I met were great. The games we played after breakfast and lunch were always so much fun. But my favorite part of camp was the club every night. I never experienced anything like it. All this singing and dancing in a really small room. I've never really wanted to wake up early anywhere except for at Rockridge. Everyone can't wait till the next day can start again. I've gone to Rockridge five times now and each time is better than the last. I can never thank Jorgen and my leaders enough for getting me involved in Yonif and pushing me to, to come to club even when I didn't feel like it. Young Life is really about trying to help you be the best person you can be and they all make you want to be a better person. Young Life especially helped me last year. It was the toughest year of my life. Uh, to many people, it looked like I had a normal life when I really didn't. My home life was awful. I have a father who some days I believe had given up on life, and he had the shortest temper of any man that I've ever met. Uh, so when he got laid off at the start of my grade 11 year last year, everything got worse, because with my dad's short temper came his abuse both uh, verbally and physically, affecting everyone in my family, but mostly just me and my mom. My mom had to work every day uh, tirelessly since my dad was out of a job and refused to get one. He would stay up all night and sleep until noon the next morning. Eventually, I had to stay home and to babysit my little sister because my father couldn't get up in the morning. Then one day, my dad hit my mom and I had enough. 
He and my dad got into a physical altercation, which led to him, which uh, led to the police getting called and him trying to get me arrested. When the police arrived, though, they assessed the situation and arrested my dad for threatening to harm me and my mom and uh, arrested him for and charged him with assault. We put a restraining order against my dad and he can no longer come near me or my mom. Uh, this happened on the day of my, my math final last year in June and since that day I haven't heard or spoken to my father. <coughs> I ended up failing almost every course in school that year but I've never felt and I never felt so alone in my life. I'm not very good I'm not a very open person naturally so no one knew about my situation. I really don't remember why I even told Jordan all this uh, the one day I did when we were fundraising but I'm very glad I did. Because he was able to listen to me, and I told him what happened, and uh, he helped me as best as he could. He's just glad, and uh, I spent a lot of time with Jorgen last year fundraising for Rock Rage, and I didn't even uh, end up fundraising enough, but Jorgen sent me anyway, because he knew that I needed to go. And uh, I didn't even, so I didn't even raise enough money, but he's not even making me pay me back. Uh, he's just glad I went. Just being around him and other leaders like him really helped me because they're such genuine people and they're, they're there for you if you let them be. <clears throat> Young Life was the biggest part of what helped me get out of my slump. Talking about Jesus and learning about, uh, and, and just being around such loving people uh, at camp this past summer really helped me too. It's a big reason why uh, I did so much better in school this year and I enjoyed myself. I'll never be able to express how grateful I am to, uh, to have Young Life in my life. I just hope one day I can give back to Young Life the way that Young Life has given to me. Uh, thank you for listening to my story.